Good morning, good morning. Okay, what a morning it's been. I feel super frazzled, but taking a deep breath, how is everybody's morning going? So, do you ever have those mornings where you're like, I, I don't know if I'm gonna last till the afternoon. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's almost like you wake up and you're almost in like, you jump in mode, like you've got kids and you've got to give the dog bath, the dog's bath. Like we legitimately like, we had to clean up a mess from last night, which we didn't do because we were home late. Our dogs needed baths this morning. That was super fun. We ran to the gym a little bit late, uh, just getting the kids in motion and all of the things, right? All of those things. And I was, I, I walked up here and I was like, oh, and I still haven't done it alive. Like I love to do lives and connect with people and just get people's morning started. And I'm like, it's already afternoon. Like, I was trying not to feel defeated. So what do you do in those moments, right? Like, so first of all, where are you tuning in from? How is your day? I was like, I have to go upstairs and take a breather. Um, if you are in the private reboot group, we just did a video over there talking about the reboot that's available today. And so we, I did a live this morning over there. And so all of those things, right? Like, what do you do in the midst of those mornings and those days where you're just like, I already feel defeated and really far behind. So what did we do? I set my phone down, took a deep breath, read something, took another deep breath. And then my mentor used to tell me, uh, she lives in Oklahoma, her name is Sherry and she's wonderful. And every time I would get overwhelmed, I would message her and I would go, I don't know what to do. And this is back, especially when we had babies. And I would say, oh, I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know. I don't know what to do next. I've got kids screaming and people need to eat and I've got to take a phone call, like all of these things. And she'd say, Stephanie, take a deep breath. And what is the next thing you have to do? Like, I always have that going in my mind. What is the next thing that has to get done right now? Like, if my child needs their diaper changed, like that's the next thing. It was that, that legitimate. Like if I need to go put the puppies out, like I, I have to go put the puppies out this morning, our puppies needed a bath. So I was like, okay, the next thing I've got to give my kids a bath or the, my two baby dog kids needed a bath. Uh, the next thing I was like, okay, I've got some time. The girls are working on their spelling downstairs and I've got my other daughter working on geography. I'm going to go do a live. Like that's the next thing. The next thing I have to do is get this carpet off of my kid's floor because our dogs peed on it. Like real life, it does not smell good in here. Uh, and so like, right? Like what is the next thing that has to get done? So when you're in the midst of a crazy like morning or afternoon, sometimes you feel like you can't get your head above the water, take a deep breath and just remind yourself what is the next thing that has to get done? right? You can't do everything. You can't do five jobs at one time. My husband always says there really is no such thing as multitasking. So go to the thing that's the very most urgent and then you keep moving from there. So I don't know if that pertains to anybody, but my morning was like started off with a bang and here we are right now. So where are you tuning in from? I hope you're having a great day and uh, also happy May, May 1st. I love I love the first of anything. I love the first of the week. Like I love, well, that would be Sunday, but I actually love Monday. I love Mondays. I love the first of any month. I love, I do love the mornings. I just love that like feeling of like, ah, it's a new start. What am I going to do this month? What are my goals? What is the new habit that I'm going to work on? Uh, and so how are you doing? How are you doing with your goals? Like if you were to think back to January and you're like, huh, I did say that I wanted X, Y, and Z because most people set a resolution. Where are you at today? Almost six months later, right? Is that six? Let's see. Almost close enough. But like, where are you at with your goals? Are you on track? Are you changing a habit or two? Are you working? We were just chatting on the other on the other page uh, earlier this morning about 1% better, 1% worse. Like, are you making a conscious effort throughout your day? I was saying like, I went to the gym this morning. Uh, I drank my ketones, I read for a little bit, like that would fall in the 1% better. If I were to grab a donut, let's say you walked into the office, or like if I would have freaked out at my kids, would that be in my 1% worst category? And it's kind of the same concept of just like, what's the next thing, right? 
I think sometimes we dive into life and we, we're going so, so fast that we don't take a second. We don't take a breather to go, like, what do I have to do next? Is that a good choice? Is that gonna align with my goals? Is that going to help me get 1% better? Or is it gonna make me go, oh shoot, I'm gonna regret it later? So anyways, it's May 1st. It's gonna be a great day. Uh, we're getting all of our ducks in a row. It's gonna be awesome. And then lastly, a lot of you have been uh, asking about the reboot. A lot of you went on to try to grab the reboot. We were having a little bit of a glitch with the system, but it is up and going. So for those of you who are already a customer and you are going to dive in in May and grab a reboot kit, go log into your cloud and grab your reboot kit. We will be starting the second Sunday. So I will post the date later, but this is what we are going to be doing. A lot of you love it. I've had people that have done it for 14 months in a row. I'll tell you what it is in just a second, but it is available. Go to your cloud and grab your reboot. If you are brand new and you're like, what in the world is a reboot? Uh, some people go, is it like a fast or a cleanse? And I say, no, it's a reboot. So it's not just water. You're not starving yourself. What it is is in this little kit, you're gonna grab, first of all, you get plugged into a private Facebook group. So I got to talk over there in that group this morning. And what it is, is we walk you through, some people like raise your hand if you've ever hit a plateau. I posted about this yesterday. I actually don't think plateaus are bad because it's helped you stay at one single spot. You didn't fall below, right? Like you didn't go back to where you used to are. So that's awesome. Like look as a plateau is like, yes, I'm here. I've sustained it. Now what do I do to get to the next level, right? So a reboot can help you with a plateau. A reboot can help you uh, amplify what you're already doing. You might already feel great and you just want a reboot. A lot of people love to do something like this to where they're not eating for 60 hours, but they've got an entire kit to drink. It gives them everything they need, the ketones, the electrolytes, all those fun things. Um, or you're looking to just start your journey to do something like this is May 1st, I'm going to step up and step out and do something different. So this is what the kit is. If you want, if you're brand new and you want the reboot, post reboot below and I'll send you some info in a little bit. But what it is, is what you, you wake up. So we've got, we've got the entire system laid out for you. We do it together as a group. If you can't do it on the day that we set out to do it, we will help you, so don't worry. It, the times don't always align with the same people. Um, look at, she said this is her third month. I love it. So I love that. If you've done it before, how did you like it? I love the fact that I tell people, this is not about, like some people go, how much weight am I gonna lose? Like how many pounds? And I say, this isn't about you stepping on the scale in 60 hours and seeing the scale drop five pounds. This is about helping you go, food doesn't have to control me, I control it. It's really a mind shift. It's helping you understand what your hunger feels like, getting the cravings out, what it really looks like to control how you're eating. The clock does not have to control you. Uh, the, your habits, your, the TV of like the natural habits and the instincts and your emotions, like all of these reasons why we might grab the food that we either don't need or it's just extra food because you're eating out of habit. Like it helps you go, huh? Like I was gonna grab that extra food but I'm actually not hungry. Or oh, I naturally gravitate towards the couch at the end of the night and I grab a bag of chips and I just mentally go, I don't need that. So I love it. It gets people's mindsets like on track and ready to go. In the kit, I'm gonna show you real quick. What, what it looks like is you've got, I call this my mom fuel, remember? So you're gonna have the ketones. You've got a caffeine and caffeine free. So you will have this to take throughout your 60 hours along with our signaling OS pills. And so we have everything written out for you. And then in the day for your lunch and your dinner, you're gonna have, everybody's is different. So. You might have a coconut curry. You might have a French onion. This is your lunch and your supper. You might have a salted caramel. I love all of them warm. So you drink them in a mug. This is your lunch and your dinner. And then before you go to bed, you've got tea to drink. This entire system makes up the 60 hour keto reboot. We do it together. You shake everything up or you put it in a mug. We follow the steps and you feel amazing. And it just really gets you on, on, on track and focused and ready to go for your next leg of your health and fitness journey race. Not race, but like, you know, like your next goals. So the kit is amazing. Reach out if you have questions. Uh, happy May 1st. It's gonna be a super great month. I can already feel it. And we're in Kentucky. So wherever you're at, how's the weather? It was, I know it was snowing up in Minnesota. I think even New York a couple days ago. 
we are blessed with like I have shorts on today, but it's super nice. So uh, be watching. Oh, lastly, the kit is only available for either, you've got two options. I think it's the first through the fourth or the fifth and or if it sells out. So we don't sell them all the time. You've gotta decide if you wanna do it. I'll plug you into the group and I will personally help you. And then I'll help you come out of it. I will give you food ideas of how to eat better afterwards. You don't have to be strict keto or you can be strict keto or you can do low carb or you can do whatever you want, right? But I will lock arms with you. We will help you do better. We will help you reach your goals or just get you mentally ready to like attack whatever that is that you want to go after. So, but you won't be able to get this like on May 12th. Like you'll have to wait till June. We don't want to do that. So grab the reboot, tag a friend below that you want to do it with you because that's super great. Like we've got the group for you. We've got an absolute amazing group for you to plug into, ask questions, but I will tell you this, it is way more fun to do it with a spouse, a neighbor, a coworker, grab the people in your office and say, hey, let's all do it together. That's super powerful because then you're not eating for those 60 hours together and you hold each other accountable, you're drinking your broth together, you're drinking your ketones, you're going, huh, We've got this, ladies and gentlemen, we've got this. And so, anyways, I think you guys all are amazing. And should you reboot before you start the keto? No, actually, Sarah. So um, that's a good question. A lot of you capitalize on the promo at the end of April. And so her, Sarah's question was, should you wait to do the reboot or not drink the ketones? If you ordered ketones and got a great deal on it. If you are one that I, I mail out five and 10 day experiences, every single day. So a lot of you are getting it in the mail or you have it. Don't wait. Like if you've got these, I want to walk you through how to take this every single day. I, oh, I thought I had one. Uh, it's a powder. I call it my mom fuel. So when you get this in the mail, put it in 12 to 15 ounces of water. You can do 20 ounces of water if you're brand new, shake it up and have an amazing day. So I've actually got to do two booths here in Kentucky the last couple days. If you were in Kentucky, it is Derby week. I had no idea how crazy big Derby week is. It's like a Derby month. It's not just the Derby day. Like I heard the Derby, right? And thought it was one day where horses race and then you're done. You dress up fancy, wear the big hats and have fun. Oh no, no. Like this is a big deal here. So I had a booth at the marathon place. We had marathons. If you watch my Instagram, we rode in the balloons. Last night we had a booth at one of the soccer games down in Louisville Slugger Stadium. Like there is stuff from now until the Derby. Every single night there's bed races and and crazy races and runs and more derby races and more horse races. Like there is a lot of stuff going on. So what I want you to understand is this, for those of you who grabbed your ketones, shake this up in 12 to 15 ounces of water. I prefer, I tell people eat something in the morning, shake it up mid morning. Let me know how you feel. How's your energy and your focus and your appetite. Like I'm chatting with a lot of you every single day, right? Don't slam it in five minutes. Don't drink it over the course of four hours. Like drink it under an hour. And uh, it's amazing. So Sarah, you're the one that asked if you have the ketones or you're going to be getting that because you're actually not going to start your reboot until the middle of May. So I have to look at the dates, but it usually falls on the second Sunday night. So you can drink this leading up to your reboot. We can work on eating better leading up to your reboot, which will help this even go even better, right? Like you won't have the crazy as many cravings. You'll feel better going through it. Um, and so there is like, if you've got this, drink this leading up. Yeah. The 19th drink this leading up into that. Okay. And then everybody will be getting their reboot kit that orders it before the 19th. And then we will all start together. Or if you can't do it with me, I'll walk you through how to take it. If you were like, Stephanie, there's absolutely no reason why I would never eat for 60 hours. Cause that was me a year ago. I actually didn't think I could ever do that. But I did it to prove my kids and everybody else wrong that I was not hangry. Like I used to get really hangry and I did it and I loved it. I actually felt super accomplished. I was like, yeah, like I don't have to get hangry. I don't have to let food control me. And so, but if you were like, there's no way I'm going to start that way. That's totally fine. I understand. Reach out. I can help you with just giving you food ideas. Reach out if you want to try a five or a 10 day of my mom fuel. You can try a variety of flavors without committing a month to anything. And I will walk you through how to do it. And then maybe you join us in June for the reboot or maybe you join us in July. But there are a lot of you that are ready to do the reboot this month, right? Like you might be going, oh, I really need to do that. Yeah, it's super great. So for the reboot, 
Lastly, if you're a current customer, go to your cloud. If you are not a current customer, go to ketomomreboot.com. Or if you want a five or a 10 day, just post five or 10 in the comments and I'll send you some info or post reboot down there and we'll chat back and forth. You can ask all your questions. Uh, just remember this, when you get overwhelmed, if you've had a crazy morning like we did, take a deep breath, think to yourself, what is the next thing I need to do today? So after I'm done with you guys, I'm rolling up this carpet that's in front of me because of my dogs, they made it stink, and I'm going to go do some math with my daughters. That's the next thing that has to get done. Remember throughout your day, 1% wetter, 1% better, 1% worse, right? Like what are the things that are gonna put you in these categories? Give yourself five extra seconds to decide uh, before you grab some food, before you make a decision, like, hey, is this the best decision that I should be doing at this moment? So I think you're all amazing. Um, I will totally help you, Kim, with your reboot and everybody else that reaches out. So you will love it. Go to ketomomreboot.com. I'll send you some information and we'll talk soon. So have a great May 1st and we'll talk to you soon.